Hey guys, so I have a teaching moment here for you, uh, again about how to decipher these labels and some of this marketing that's out there uh, today. And okay, so this is a spray that I am watching someone's dog for the weekend and she brought it in the intention uh, that, you know, it would help calm her if she were to, you know, get nervous or anything like that. And that obviously she wanted to help it help her dog um, with the nervousness. And so she would want it to support her nervous system, right? Um, so let's just look at this uh, on first glance. Uh, it says natural chemistry. So that is the brand. And it says nat or it says lavender scented spray. So to me, the scented spray part, and it is trademarked, which is interesting. Um, is just alarming. Uh, I know you can scent stuff with obviously essential oils, but to say that it's scented as opposed to just calling it lavender spray or something like that is just alarming. Um, and I could be nitpicking on that, but uh, it's just weird. Uh, and then it says down here in little letters, uh, it contains natural lavender oil. Okay, it says for dogs of all ages, cute puppy. So yeah, the average person would be like, oh great, like this is perfect, has lavender oil, essential oils are supposed to be amazing, and let's buy it and use it for our dog. Okay, so then when you turn it around, uh, you can see these ingredients, right? So the second, or the third ingredient, I'm sorry, is lavender fragrance, you guys. Perfume, perfume, okay? So fragrance alone has literally hundreds, if not thousands of chemicals behind that word. Uh, if you've seen any of my posts, I'm really passionate about sharing about this because this is something that really we need to get rid of in our environment. Uh, it's not only wreaking havoc on our bodies, uh, those chemicals in there are hormone disruptors. They can be, um, they can cause asthma and neurological disorders and even cancer. So lots of harmful things uh, with that word. And it's interesting that it's in here, okay? And so then you look and the second to last ingredient is lavender oil. Hmm. So we know when the, how, you know, in the, how it's designed or how it's written, sorry, is in the row, in the way of how the, how much of the product is in there, right? So the lavender oil is the second to last ingredient. So there's not very much in there, number one. Number two, we don't know how that lavender oil was grown, how is it distilled, if it was grown with pesticides, if it has any other kind of weeds in there. There's a lot that goes into, um, you know, extracting the oil and doing it responsibly, sustainably, all of that stuff. Um, so this is you know, the fragrance, it just, it goes to a, a global level, you guys, like you're spraying this around your environment. Um, obviously all of the air is connected in our world. And so not only are you putting your, your family and your fur babies and whoever else around at risk, but it is also, you know, hurting our environment. Plus, if you throw this down the drain, um, those are chemicals that who wants that? I mean, our water's getting, you know, um, contaminated or is already. So then we look at this, you know, shake well, uh, spray, liberally spray um, this over the dog's coat and massage into coat and allow to air dry. Number one, uh, I would make sure that your dog even like cares for the scent because that's not right. Um, you know, dogs are very, very sensitive nose wise. So be careful with that as well. Um, and then this doesn't even smell like lavender, you guys. I know I am accustomed to lavender scent, uh, or the lavender oil. So I know what it, you know, real lavender smells like, but you can even go to the local store and get some dried lavender and smell it. It does not smell anything like this. This smells awful. Um, and the, besides that, the other thing is that the owner is not getting what she intended to get, right? Like she's not getting the results. And this could also be why some people may think that oils don't work. Um, well, this product has lavender oil in it. It doesn't work. Well, lots goes into that. But um, basically, uh, because it is synthetic, she's not going to get those. Um, our bodies do not recognize synthetic uh, things, uh, whether that be, you know, any kind of chemical, any medication, things like that. Our bodies want to get rid of it. Uh, so, so just a little education on that. And then, you know, how inexpensive would it be instead of wasting money on this? Um, and the more you know, you guys, right? Like this is the kind of stuff that we need to educate on. Uh, but 
you know, you could buy a bottle of lavender and make this for pennies. You know, get a glass uh, spray bottle and make it for literally pennies, you guys, uh, versus I don't know how much this may have cost. I would assume it wasn't that much. But um, so just stay safe out there. Always look over the ingredients. Turn your bottles around just like you would your food or anything like that. Know what is in your stuff. Um, and get stuff that's truly going to support your body and your pet's body because this stuff can make amazing um, changes and help in, in, in amazing ways. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.